Coach Hawks, thank you for taking your time with us off the block blog. Uh, what are your initial impressions of the match? Uh, thank you for uh, doing this. Appreciate it. Um, I actually, I thought our boys played pretty well. You know, so you know, getting the win um, in three is obviously always a good thing against that team. And uh, we came in with a ton of respect for SC and what they've been doing. And um, you know, for for kind of where we've been, we've you know lost obviously uh, a couple matches here and there. And you know, our guys are learning. So, so to see us go out there and actually perform and do some of the things that we've been working on in practice was great to see. What, what was the message to the uh, to the boys uh, uh, after the couple of losses? Well, there's a lot of messages. We have to be better passing the ball. So I thought like our C management, um, passing sidelines, I thought we did a, a, a better job there. That was one message, uh, you know, killing the ball out of system. Um, you know, so there's quite a few things, you know, so it's a matter of just us being more efficient with uh, taking care of the ball when we get opportunities. So, um, yeah, I felt like we just did a much better job at, at those things, you know, and, and credit to our passers for, for stepping up tonight. Uh, Kofi had a very efficient night tonight. What do you credit that to? Uh, you jumped high. <laughs> um, Mike, is, Mike of the second grade. So. I think Kofi will be the first one to tell you that, that, that credit goes to Micah for, for those. And, um, you know, first things first, our passers getting the ball up there so that, you know, Micah can make that, that set an opportunity or, or set that choice. Um, but Kofi's, when he's jumping hard and he's hitting high like that, real hard to stop. I don't even know what he hit. Um, 722. Yeah. That's a pretty good night. Yep. Uh, can you comment on uh, Brandon's uh, performance tonight? He had uh, 17 kills. Brandon had like a sneaky 17 kills because there were there were some situations where he just saved balls, hit hands. Like one, I think he tagged Brandon in the back row. It was probably going out of bounds, but um, yeah, you gotta have some luck on your side, and and he hits real hard. So I felt like Brandon did a, a nice job tonight. You know, it was fun to see. I'm gonna uh, ask you a tough question. I know you're a big fan of, of John. Uh, you guys did an excellent job of neutralizing him. Uh, Nygaard even pulled him uh, in the third set. Uh, how did you guys, uh, or how were you guys so effective in neutralizing him? I don't know if we necessarily neutralized him or he neutralized himself. You know, I think he probably erred on some balls where he uh, would want to get that ball back. You know, I remember one transition, he buried one in the net. And, um, I think, but we did touch him a couple good times, so I think we just, we, we thought we had a tendency on him, and, and uh, whether it was Brandon or Micah or Mills getting over, um, you know, I just felt like we were just getting our hands over and, and getting good positive touches. So, uh, Gian's a great player, he's the heart of that team, we think. Um, he plays with so much passion and love, and, and um, you know, tonight's just one little blip in the radar and he'll be okay. Uh, you guys served really well tonight. You had uh, 12 aces and one in the city. Ended up with 21 service errors. Uh, what was, I know you guys have been working really hard in practice. I saw that on, on Friday. Um, I guess a couple of questions on that. You know, how come you can't uh, be more, uh, what do you, why do you think the team is not as um, consistent as you would like it to, them to be? Well, I think there's a lot of variables with the serve. You know, I think there's obviously the toss and the guys are working real hard at it and um, we're practicing. So we're just, we're, we're getting out there and revving it out and, and tweaking things here when we see them. And Spencer's doing an awesome job with guys. John's doing a great job as, as you would imagine. And, uh, you know, I feel like we're just, the guys are, are starting to kind of believe and, and understand and they're, they're they're trusting themselves and they're trusting their teammates. So everything about what we're doing, I think we're going in the right direction. And have you convinced the your, uh, your players that you're a better float server than anybody on the team? <laughs> the float serve is something that's crazy. You don't lose the float serve. It doesn't matter how old you are or how, how long you have uh, not picked up a volleyball, hitting a float serve is like riding a bike, piece of cake. Uh, of course, I have to ask you a question related to Brad Keller. He, I see that he's trained you well, that uh, you made me wait. Uh, is that something that you picked up from him? Yeah, I, I, I actually want to make you wait a little bit longer, but you actually grabbed me pretty hard, you know, so um, might have to talk to your HR about that. Uh, you see if you got a bruise.
Was that CPI, Bruce? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, final question. Uh, we have a big match coming up on Wednesday against Pepperdine. Uh, I personally feel the winner of that match uh, probably has, is in the driver's seat to uh, win the conference. Uh, can you preview that match? Pepperdine's really good. And, uh, you know, we, we've had a chance to watch them play. I'm sure they've watched us play quite a bit through common opponents. But, um, you know, Dave Weisworth's a fantastic player. And, and truthfully, um, we haven't spent a whole lot of time, I'm sure, like them, just focusing. We're focusing our next opponent, taking care of business. And the uh, what they can do with their pin hitters, um, you know, I think they're they're just they're they're playing great volleyball, and um, we're gonna have to be sharp to to beat this team. So it's gonna be fun to have them in our gym. And I agree, you know, we're top two teams right now in our conference, and those things can change quickly, but. Um, you know, I, I, I feel like this is uh, it's gonna be a fun match, and and uh, there's gonna be a lot of a lot of balls from the end line. That's gonna be for sure. So oh, for sure. Well. Yep. Yeah. Uh, thank you for taking your time with us off the block log, and uh, good luck the rest of the season. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Appreciate it.